This local sports report is presented by Homewood Suites by Hilton of Cambridge Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports. Call now to take advantage of Homewood's sport rate offer and receive a discount for your accommodation. Homewood is your home away from home for tournaments and special events. Book your stay now by calling 519-651-2888 or visit Cambridge Waterloo www.homewoodsuites.com Here come the Tri-City Outlaws for a Saturday night showdown at Alumni Stadium. The Outlaws hosting the GTA All-Stars in a rematch of last year's championship game. Opening quarter, the Outlaws catching a break. It's a high snap. The ball is loose. Here comes Damien to see a dozy, and he recovers for the Outlaws. They take over possession deep in GTA territory. Eventually, it's fourth down for Tri-City. They line up for a 26-yard field goal, but it's a fake. Connor De Podesta finds a wide-open Jake Scrum. Screndon, he scores. What a play from the Outlaws. Screndon with a touchdown. Tri-City is up 7-2 after the first. Second quarter, the defense is getting it done. Watch number six for GTA. That's former Outlaw Ryan Yance with a big tackle. He takes down the Tri-City running back. Later, it's a nice play from the Outlaws defense. Damien Dosi breaking through and he's got a sack. He takes down Dan Daigle, still 7-2 Outlaws. Late stages of the quarter, here's a clutch interception from Nick Carter Janice. He picks Picks it up and goes the other way. GTA with the ball on the Outlaws' seven-yard line. They're looking to strike. Out comes the offense. Dan Daigle to Dorian Miller. Touchdown, All-Stars. They capitalize on the turnover. GTA is up 9-7 at the break. Third quarter, the All-Stars extend the lead on this play. Daigle fires to the end zone. Isaiah Wiltshire with the catch for a touchdown. GTA looking good. They're up 18-7 midway through the third. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder, this video is presented by Homewood Suites, a proud supporter of local sports. Call 519-651-2888 to take advantage of Homewood's sport rate offer. Still in the third, the All-Stars punting it away. This is S.A. Mboko on the return. He fields it at the 34-yard line. Mboko down the near sideline. He's picking up speed. And how about this? Mboko cuts back to the middle, and he's got a pun return for a touchdown. Here come the out. Outlaws. They now trail 18-14 as we head to the fourth. The Outlaws with the ball looking for the lead. The pass is complete to S.A. Mboko and watch number 96 for GTA. He is called for unnecessary roughness after the catch. That's a 15-yard penalty and the Outlaws on the move. They have the ball in the 24-yard line. Spencer Bowman is back to pass and look out! It's Connor De Podesta with the catch for a touchdown! Tri-City erasing an 11-point deficit and they take the lead. It's 20 18 for the Outlaws. Late stages of regulation. Here's a bizarre play. Dan Daigle thinks he heard a whistle, but it's a live ball. Mayron Alvinpour picks it up and takes it deep into All-Stars territory. It's a fumble recovery in the final minute, and that's it. The Outlaws win a thriller. They take it by a final score of 21-18. Here is Connor De Podesta talking about the game-winning touchdown. He said ran a go and we knew the safety, there was only one safety, we were going to split him. We were going to try and drag him one way and it was going to be wide open. It happened three or four times that game and we just didn't hit it. So we knew we were going to hit it and I felt them all, I heard them all and I just braced for it and let them hit me and then I went down and, and that's the game right there. That's how we win. That's crazy. I don't know if we've ever beat them before. So it's pretty sick. And my kicker, he just whispered to my ear, he's like, There's, we got a guy over here. If nobody sees him on the sideline, just toss that up. And my one, my one priority was just not overthrowing him, not putting too much on it. He had literally all the space in the world. So... I just dumped a little little air ball and he ran under it and he scored, it was awesome. The play is, is that I stand along the sidelines there and that kind of blend in with the sidelines and then Depot, our placeholder there, if he sees that nobody's on me, he just gets up and throws me the ball. So it just worked out the way it did and got the first touchdown of the day. I just got to give the credit to my teammates. In the huddle, we had some creativity, some good options, some really good things presented from our guys. I leaned on our guys, we executed and I'm just so I'm just so thankful that I got great teammates.